So yesterday throughout the day, I kind of had like a small cough that was kind of like every few minutes I would just have to cough, dry, nothing, nothing big. I had, you know, a headache. I had some chills, definitely chills. That's kind of what really started concerning me a lot. Hopefully I get some updates in the next few hours. How's it going everyone? Happy Monday and welcome back to another week in medical school. So today's actually pretty busy. I have three different meetings and I'll kind of just tell you about them as they go. But right now I'm gonna hop on a Zoom call with another med school YouTuber named Matt Kinza, who's a second year student. And I've actually been watching her since like I was an applicant. So this is actually pretty exciting for me because like now I get to actually chat with her about being med school YouTubers and about my experiences as a first year student. So I'm gonna go hop on that call and I'll catch up with you guys after. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. It's so nice to have you on here. Thanks so much for joining so early in the morning. All right guys, so I just got off the call with Medkinza. It was a lot of fun. It's always really nice to talk to other med school YouTubers. And like I said earlier, I've been watching like her videos since I was an applicant. And so it like really makes me feel like I'm moving up in like the YouTuber world of med school. And so she's gonna be using that call for an episode on her podcast, which is super exciting. And that should be up hopefully Friday. So I'm gonna have all the links below. Definitely go check her out. So like I said, today's pretty busy. In about an hour, I have a meeting on campus for a club called MedSpeak, where we basically work on presentations on like medically related topics like COVID, careers in healthcare, all that kind of stuff that we're hopefully gonna give to the community one day. And then at two o'clock, I'm hopping on a Zoom call to talk to a pre-med club at one of the high schools here in my city. Someone from the club reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I would just talk about my experiences and answer some questions. So that should be super fun. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead to campus. I'm leaving campus right now. I decided to go back home to get onto that meeting to talk to the high school just because there wasn't like a lot of empty rooms at the school. So I didn't want to like risk having someone walk in or like need the room or anything. So I'm just going to go home and do it. As you guys all know, we have today's first very special guest, first year medical student, Sean Anderson. He is here with us. He's just going to tell us a little bit about his life. You're, you're kind of like, you're learning what is normal so that you can identify what is wrong and then you can learn how to fix what's wrong. And that's kind of the process of like everything you learn in med school. All right guys, I just got done talking to the students at the high school, it was pretty cool. It's really awesome that they all kind of know that they want to go into medicine now. Uh, this early, I wish that my high school had something like that because maybe I would have found my passion for medicine a little bit sooner. But anyway, I'm going to lay down for a little bit because I'm exhausted and today's just been nonstop and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day after. So I still gotta finish my Unki for the day and then I'm gonna start watching these board videos. So the first stroke we'll talk about is an SCA stroke. And this is the rarest of all the cerebellar strokes. Both the SCA, the AICA, and the PICA all supply the cerebellum. Configuring my Joy-Cons to work with Anki is seriously one of the best things I've ever done. All right, I got some working on the bike and I finished four out of five of the videos I wanted to watch. I watched these first four and I wanna watch this uh, last one, which is seven minutes long. And so I think I'm gonna watch it after I take a little bit of a break. Oh, and by the way, there's Abs eating her sandwich. <laughs> and so now in my efforts to implement more exercise into my daily routines, I wanna start adding Ab Ripper X like every other day. So Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays into my routine. It's a workout I used to do like in high school and a little bit in college. I've never really been able to do the whole thing. So I think it'd be a fun goal to like, you know, try to get the whole thing done uh, in the same pace as they do it in the video. So I'll just start off by just doing the workouts without the video. And then maybe after a couple months, I'll see if I can keep up with the video. And I'll post like the exercises here somewhere if I can find a list of them uh, to see if any of you guys want to try it along with me. Honestly, I'm pretty bad at abs. So I think this is going to take me a little bit. That was actually terrible. That took forever. My form was definitely going at the end there. I think I finished it in about, let me see, 20, 28 minutes or so, which the video they do about like 17 minutes, I believe. So the goal is to get it down to about 17 minutes. You know, however long it takes, I'll be trying to do this about three days a week. So if you guys try this, let me know in the comment section below how long it took you to do it. Now I'm gonna lay on this for a little bit, play some Overwatch, eat some food, and I'll catch up with you guys later. 
All right, I finished the last lecture of the five that I wanted to get done today, and now I totally remember that I have to do a discussion post. So I'm gonna watch this 24 minute video and then do that post. Good morning, guys. So I've been up for a couple hours now. I just did some Anki, I rode the bike, and now I'm actually heading out because I'm gonna stop by my buddy's shop because the other day I drove up on a curb too high and then when I backed out, it like broke the splash protector off like the bottom of the car. And so it's literally just dragging when I drive, but like I can't get under the car enough to like either like completely take it off or like put it back up with something. And so I'm gonna stop by my buddy's shop. He's gonna look at it and fix it. And then after that, I might as well just like go to campus cause I got PBL at one. So hopefully on the way I can like find something to eat. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's hanging down underneath the car. All right, I'm all done now. And now my car doesn't sound like it's literally dragging plastic as I drive. And so I've got less than two hours until PBL. So I'm gonna try to find something to eat and then head to campus. The man, the myth, the legend. What if I just like wrote up the curve in your video? <laughs> really? Yeah. You got Einstein. So after PBL, I stayed for a question review session that some of the second years hosted, but I barely knew any of the answers because it's day two of this block. But it was kind of good to like start thinking about those kinds of pathologies. And so now I uh, watched a board video and I'm doing the Anki cards for it, but I started getting sleepy. So now I'm walking on the treadmill. And then when I'm done with this, I'm just gonna lift a little bit and then head home. And now it's time to go home. Man, it's starting to get pretty cold outside. And I don't really know how to dress in things that aren't t-shirts and shorts. So I'll probably have to get some more winter clothes soon. I'm so tired and I have so many donkey cards to do. I think I have like 800 of them. So I think I'll do like 200 of them in bed and then get up and use the bike. All right, so I did an hour on the bike, but I still have like a bunch of cards left to do, even though I've been doing them like all morning. But I think right now, since I'm already sweaty, I'm just gonna do that ab workout that I did on Monday because I said I was gonna do it like every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I think I'd rather just do it now while I'm already sweaty and then I can shower after and then I just don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. All right, I feel nice and refreshed and I think I'm just gonna run out and grab some food really quick and then I'll come back and get to work. For the rest of the day, I still have to finish my Anki cards and then I have to write a patient note for my PBL class since I'm like the leader of the group this week, I have to do like a patient summary and then present it to the class on Thursday. I also wanna get as many boards and beyond videos done as I can and then at six o'clock, I'm gonna hop on Discord with a classmate and we're gonna go through practice questions for our epidemiology exam next week. I think I mentioned it in the last vlog, but I have an epidemiology and statistics exam next week and I did all the boards and beyond videos this past weekend and I've been doing the Anki cards and and so now tonight I'm gonna start the Kaplan questions. So yeah, I'm gonna run out, grab some food, and then I'll get started. Got myself some teriyaki madness. This is spicy teriyaki with fried rice, and then there's noodles in there. Fever from the inflammation and headache from inflammation of the leptomeninges around the brain. And then I just watched the board's video on seizures, and there are just so many drugs. I think one of my biggest weaknesses in starting med school so far has been like pharmacology. Like there's just so many drugs, there's so many mechanisms, so many side effects. And so I think what I'll do is I'll finish like all the content and maybe like in like two weeks or so, like do sketchy and everything for these specific drugs because there's just so many of them. Cryptococcus neoformans is an invasive fungus and it exists as a yeast with a thick polysaccharide capsule that helps it to evade. All right, so it's about six o'clock and so I'm gonna hop on Discord with a buddy of mine and start working through some epidemiology practice problems. I'm like the testing but I am proud of ourselves. Yeah. Hey, Abs. Can I present my patient case to you? Yeah. Okay. 24 year old female who presented to urgent care with right eye pain and blurry vision that started yesterday morning while she was laying down outside. She was referred to ophthalmology where she had an automated visual field exam which identified right hemotomous hemianopia. All right, so I finished my case presentation note which means I got everything done that I wanted to get done today. So I'm gonna get ready for bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Morning guys. So yesterday throughout the day, I kind of had like a small cough that was kind of like Every few minutes I would just have to cough, dry, nothing, nothing big, but kind of like, as I was like trying to go to bed last night, I had, you know, a headache. Uh, I had some chills, definitely chills. That's kind of what really started concerning me a lot. And so this morning I talked to the Dean of my medical school, uh, and as well as student affairs, they're going to try to get me to go get, uh, some sort of expedited testing this morning, um, which hopefully within the next like hour or two, I can figure out where to go. Uh, I, I'm optimistic that it's nothing because I, I, I typically get sick this time of year. Um, and so I, and I, I, I haven't really been like, you know, moving into other social groups rather than, you know, besides just going from here to school. And so I'm pretty optimistic that it's nothing and it's just some sort of seasonal uh, thing or uh, maybe the flu, if anything. 
uh, but it's better to err on the side of being cautious. And so I'm gonna try to get tested this morning. I feel fine. Like I have a cough like, actually right now. <coughs> I have a cough like every few minutes. And uh, the chills, I kind of felt a little bit this morning, but I mainly just have like a kind of like a pressure headache right now. Um, but yeah, I, I feel bad because you know my, my PBL group has to get pulled online today. Um, and so, yeah, uh, hopefully, hopefully I get some updates in the next few hours. All right guys, so a little bit of an update. I've just been doing Anki cards all morning, but I did get an appointment to get tested at a center that my school uses for our students apparently. Uh, and so I actually have that appointment at 110. And so it should only take me like 10 minutes or so to get tested, which is great because my PBL group got moved online. So I have to like come home and then I have to join my group a little bit late. Overall, I feel fine. Like I have a little bit of a cough and a headache still. And over the course of the morning, I did start to feel more and more under the weather, but maybe it's cause I was just sitting there doing Anki cards or maybe it's just like in my head a little bit. I don't know, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna head out now, go get tested and I'll catch up with you guys after. Yo, that was literally like the fastest thing I've ever done. But yeah, it was super fast. Like I pretty much walked in and they already had my appointment. I just had to give them some information. And then they did a back of the throat swab, which was more like a back of the tongue swab, uh, which was super like fine, like not uncomfortable whatsoever. And so yeah, I asked if I could film and they were like, no. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, but I'm gonna go home. My PBL group started like 20 minutes ago. So I'm gonna go try to join them. So after my PBL class, I just like completely fell asleep. But why is it this dark at 5 p.m.? Right, I've just been catching up on Anki for the past hour, but I'm gonna hop on Discord with a buddy of mine because we're gonna work on our practice questions for our epidemiology exam next week. And then I think we also have some sort of research meeting on Zoom at seven, which I'm not too sure about, but I guess we'll see. So after a lot of procrastination and playing some video games, I finally finished all my Anki cards for the day and I did practice questions with my friend DePaul for our exam next Wednesday and I went to a research meeting. So I'm kind of chilling now. I'm still pretty awake because I took that nap earlier. So maybe I'll watch a lecture or something. I don't know, we'll see. But I'll just catch up with you guys tomorrow morning. Morning guys, so I've just been doing Anki this morning and overall I feel pretty good. I think my cough has like increased a little bit in frequency and I have a little bit of like post nasal drip, but I haven't had any chills and I don't have any like more symptoms. Like I haven't like lost taste or anything. So I'm pretty optimistic. But today's pretty busy. In fact, the reason I'm wearing this polo is because right now I'm gonna hop into a call with some of the interviewees from my school that have gone through all their interviews so far this morning. And now we're just doing like a Q and A so I can like tell them about my experiences as a first year student. It's super exciting because they might end up just being students at my school next year. So yeah, I'm gonna go hop on the call and I'll catch up with you guys after. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm Sean Anderson. I'm a first year medical student here. Uh, so I'm still pretty fresh. I'm still pretty like bright eyed and bushy tail. A lot of what you do in your first year is try to figure out yourself a little bit, like your study habits, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And then try to also like put your feelers out for how you're gonna branch out otherwise, like how you're gonna get involved in different clubs and uh, you know, different organizations and all that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of in the process of trying to you know figure all that out and what I'm gonna get involved in and the things I've already been involved in. So yeah, it's been a good time, honestly. That was so much fun. I love doing these little Q and A's with like the interviewees. So, so much fun. It just reminds me of myself a year ago when I was in their shoes and then now I'm here and it just reminds me that I've made it. And then I get to look at them and be like, they're gonna make it too. So it's, it's such a great time. But now I'm gonna go do practice questions for my epidemiology exam. And then I have a meeting at three to discuss some community service related stuff. And then I want to watch at least three boards videos tonight and I still have to finish my Anki. So I'm gonna go try to do all that and I'll catch up with you guys later. So you guys remember how when I got my bike, there was a little bit of like confusion with like Amazon cause it got like sent back and then they had to send a new one. So I guess I ended up getting the one that got sent back. Pretty surprising and kind of crazy, but I'm gonna go like, check my bank account statements and everything and make sure like nothing funky happened, but I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it right now. But I'm about to hop into this research meeting and then for the rest of the day, I'm pretty much just gonna do some boards and beyond, finish my Anki, and then I actually wanna start editing this vlog tonight because I wanna get it done today because there's a lot I wanna study tomorrow. So I'm gonna end the vlog here, but thank you guys so much for joining me on another week in medical school. Hopefully I get my test results sometime early next week and that way I kind of know for sure what all this is. Again, I'm pretty optimistic, but you can never be too safe. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.